Good morning, everybody. Today's workout is going to be a holy moly hump day workout. So it's going to be a cardio core um, workout. It's going to be fairly low impact. Um, lots of modifications if you need them. You'll need one hand weight. You can either squat by a kettlebell. I'm going to be using a 10 pound hand weight. I'm going to have an eight pound weighting in the wings if I poop out. So this is going to be done in a stacking um, format. So you're going to have an exercise you'll do. You'll do that for 30 seconds. Then I will show you the second one. You'll go back to the first, then the second, then you'll go back to the first, second, then we'll add a third, so, so on and so forth. So until we get to six exercises. Then you'll get a short break, and then we're going to do that same thing in reverse, but then we will be dropping off the first parts of those exercises. So the last exercise you'll do more frequently. You'll see how it goes. Some of you are familiar with this format. It's a love to hate format. Some of you may love it, some of you may hate it. Um, but it's going to be an amazing uh, workout. At the very end, we're going to do a core sequence and we're also going to do some leg burners. All right, how much fun does that sound like? All right, so um, with your weights and your water and everything, let's get started. We're just going to go into a nice squat. We're going to circle forward with our squats. So as you come up out of your squat, you're just giving me a nice shoulder roll forward. Sit back, inhale, exhale, feel those legs. You've got about five exercises in your warm-up. Good work. We're going to reverse these arms up and back. Perfect. Stay strong here. Big retractions in those shoulders. Sit back into those heels. You got it. Breathe in and out. We're going four three, two, and one. So we're just going to go into a lunge reach. So just going to reach over, alternating each time. So give me a nice big arm arch, reaching that hand towards the floor. Big stretch in the obliques and the legs. Nice. Reach it across. Perfect job. Down up. Reach. Good work here. You got about six more. Good job. Last one here. Beautiful. Now we're just going to go into a side lunge. You're going to reach, bring your feet together, jack. Side lunge. Jack. Reach your fingers towards that toe. One leg's trailing, one leg's bent. Down, up. Come on. down, and up. Keep going, guys. Always checking my little monitor here. I like to turn it on to kind of keep me in check here. Come on, down and up. Oh. It always surprises me how high my heart rate gets when I'm not doing anything crazy, right? It may not seem crazy, but your body's processing it differently because of all the different muscles you are utilizing. Good. Let's go here. We've got three left. Here's your last two. Nice work. Here's your last one right here. Shuffle it down. Drop. Yep. Shuffle and drop. Tap it out. Good job, you guys. Sink it out. Nice and strong. Perfect. Nice work, guys. Stay with it here. Eight, seven, six, how you doing? Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Sumu, sumu, 
hold, two, three, switch hands. One, two, hold, two, three, good work. One, two, hold, two, three. One, two, hold, two, three, alternate arms. One, two, hold, two, three. One, two, hold, two, three, singles, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, yeah, seven, six, go to work, five, four, three, two, jump rope it out right here. Come on, little heel digs. Jump rope it. Side to side hops. Knees are soft as they're in. Forward back hops. Beautiful work, side to side again. Skip it out. How you doing here? Nice and strong, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Meet me on the floor. We're just gonna go into a bridge with an alternating knee march. So pick those hips up, stay up, drive one knee in towards your chest. Drive, squeeze. Think of really pushing through your quad hamstring glute, your low, your shoulder blades are pushed into the floor. Your abs are engaged. Each time that knee comes in, really squeeze it out. You got it. We're going to do repeaters on the right side for eight. Eight, seven, six. Come on now. Five. Good. Four, three, two. Hold this last one. Yeah, you're in your bridge. Ooh, going to feel that glute. And reach, switch, keep those hips up. Eight left, eight on the opposite side for eight, seven, six, nice. Five, pull it in. Four, three, high as. Two, hold it in, stay in that bridge. Grab an inhale and bring it down. Take a wide stance, drop one knee in. Beautiful, lift it up, take the other leg in. Nice work, walk those feet in one last time. Rock yourself up, big extension in those legs, bring those arms up, reach forward, tuck your chin, round your forehead towards your knees, big stretch. Beautiful, just reach over opposite side, pressing into the floor with your hand. Last four, and three, and two, and one. Walk your feet in. And let's come into a tucked standing position. Just hike the hips, forward fold. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Hike the hips to the sky. Tailbone lifts. And slowly pull your body up. Let's go into some rolls forward. Let's go into some rolls backwards. Let's go into a stretch for those shoulder and back. Stretch it out, chin elevated. Grab an inhale and release it out. Okay, if you need some water, grab it. Now is a good time. All right, so we're gonna go into our first move. This move you're gonna see repeated six times. All right, so here's the first move, and all it is is an overhead. I'm gonna hold my weight like this. So we're going to bring it up, chop left, jack it up, chop right, all right? Actually, I lied. <laughs> we're gonna go forward back hops. It's not a jack. So we're gonna hop forward, and we're gonna hop back, all right? Getting ahead of myself, chop back, chop forward. Now, if you don't want to hop, you stay stationary, all right? Different strokes for different folks. All right, so here we go, we've got 30 seconds. Forward, back, hop, and chop, here we go. Hoop. So your goal here is to get that weight low down towards your hip, adding a chopping mechanism here, so you're getting those obliques, Pushing back with those hips. So it's really not a squat per se. Using that weight to propel you up each and every time. Pushing back, powering up, nice. Beautiful. Let's go here. We got one more. Nice. Roll it out. Now you're gonna hold your weight. 
This is move two, but before we do this, we're gonna go back to move one. So here's what it looks like. You're gonna lunge, you're gonna rainbow it up to the other side. So it's right under your armpit, all right? Going back to our swing hops, hold on to that weight at the bottom, 30 seconds, chop and hop. Here we go. Chop, hop, come on. Hop. Now if it's too much for you, maybe you have mobility issues, don't bring the, the weight overhead. So you can easily keep it right here, all right? So if you have mobility or shoulder issues, listen to your body, modify, all right? Come on, push it out. Four, three, two, one. Holding your weight, all right? Right side, you're gonna lunge. Right side, wrangle it over, 30 seconds. Here we go, up and over. Keep the weight right by your armpit on each side of the lunging leg. So heads up right. Remember, healthy knees, bend the knee lower. Not so healthy, stay to the top and 10 seconds. Yeah. Up and over, rainbow. Again, you can make this move smaller if you have shoulder mobility issues. Last one right here. Perfect. All right, move number three. I'm gonna demo, then we go back to number one. Holding that weight right by your chest. Side lunge, push, pull, release. Push, pull, release. Alternating sides. All right, we're going into those chop jacks. Holding that weight, overhead and chop. Three, two, one, forward, back. Pushing off with those feet. Notice I'm not bending and squatting here. This is a hinge. Chopping, keeping my head up. So you can see that logo on my shirt if I had one. Letting the bottom of that weight come down towards the ground. Chop. Yeah, good, you got two more. Last one. Uh, all right, holding that weight, you're going into your lunge rainbows. All right, starting opposite side. All right, same leg as that side. Three, two, one, here we go. Keep the weight right up here. Try not to bring it down. All right, we want to really work a little bit through the shoulder and the core. Breathe. Now, lighter weight is going to make this not as intense. So if you're saying to yourself, you know, kid, this is not a big deal, then maybe you want to amp up your weight. Maybe you're saying, hell no, I don't want to use weights. All right, good. Then down, use a water bottle, use a pillow. Come on, stay with it. Four, three, two, and one. Side lunge press. Roll those shoulders, grab an inhale. Weight here, sink it. Push, pull, head stays up. Drop that booty back, one trailing leg. In. Oh. in, push, pull, I happen to love this format, I like a lot of variety, but I also like repetitive in a way that doesn't get me too crazy, come on, oh. we got two more, out in, nice one more, Awesome. All right, here is move number four. I'm gonna demo, we take it from the top. All right, so what this is, is you're gonna have your weight on the floor. All right, you're gonna pull it in, you're gonna drive into your rib cage, drop it off, and switch. So this is low impact level one, level two, pull. Pull, drive the elbow back, all right? 30, uh, starting from the top, I even forgot what I'm doing. Holding that weight in center, Forward back, chop, swing in three, two, one, ha. So I'm gonna to turn to the side here. Hips back, hips back. So I'm using my core and the power in my hips to propel.
exhale. That weight. If you can, try to keep your arms long. Try not to bend the weight behind you. Squeezing your shoulder blades at the top. Woo, how are you doing, guys? Three to go. Two here. Last one. Nice. All right, shoulder rainbows. Holding it here. All right, same side as the leg you're lunging in in three, two, one. Up. Close tight. Head up. Breathe. This would be an amazing kettlebell workout. Sometimes one wave is all you need. Come on. You don't always need a lot of equipment to get her done. Four, three, two, beautiful, one. Side lunge, presses in three, two, one. Ha, boom, boom. A little heartbeat, push, pull, head up. Do not lean forward. So if you have a heavy weight here, this can kind of creep up on you. So there's biceps, triceps, shoulder, maybe a bit of chest, and some compound moves here. Little hybrids, come on. Woo, we're going two more here. And one more. Nice, now we're going into that chop jack, uh, row and jack. All right, choose your poison. Do not jack if you don't want to. Here we go. Row, row, pull. Drive that elbow straight back. Pull. Pull. I could easily see myself going super duper heavy here. Maybe with a 15, 20 pound kettlebell would be crazy awesome. But you do you. You got two more here. Last one. Ha. Woo, how you doing? Ha. Let's take a quick drink. All right, I'm gonna show you move number five. So move number five is an overhead shuffle and drop. You're gonna shuffle, drop the weight. You're gonna shuffle, drop the weight. All right, now you can easily keep the weight here. And if you don't wanna bring it down, all right, you have many options. All right, you know the drill. Starting from the top. All right, holding that weight forward, back chops. You're going in three, two, one. Here we go. We're chipping away, guys. Now here's the good news, at least the good news for you. Your number six exercise, I changed it about three times. I had something a little crazier in mind and I dialed it back. But we might do a round of them towards the end here. Good work here. Two more. Last one. Awesome. All right, shoulder rainbows. One side, the other, same leg. Here we go. Lunge, up and over. Head up. My knee is hovering. I have healthy knees, so I do not feel any discomfort. You do you. So maybe even lunges aren't right for you. Tap, tap, all right? Don't just stand there staring at the screen going, can't do this, can't do this. Can't should not be in your vocabulary. You can't get to the word can't without the word can. Come on, four, three, two. You got side lunges on deck. Roll it out, grab an inhale. Three, two, one. Are you excited about doing these all over again in reverse? So these exercises that you're seeing at the end that you're not doing as many reps, <laughs> 
The tables will be turned. Great exercise sequencing with a adding on sequencing, stacking. If you're limited on time, one more. You got it. All right, going into your rear row jacks. I like to start with my weight on the floor. Pick it up, row, jack is optional in three, two, one. Make sure that you're getting low and you're pulling that elbow safely behind you. I'm bringing mine up right under my armpit, pulling back. Stay mindful. Think about each rep one at a time. Do not get ahead of yourself. What's your signaling going on in your body? Are you keeping that head slightly forward? Feeling it in those inner thighs, outer thighs. Come on, two more here. Hoop, hoop, okay. Woo, you got your shuffle and drop. Here we go, three, two, one. Floor, floor. Now I'm going about three or four steps here. Try not to take any more than four. I think three is probably a good number. Or two. I'm actually taking two wides. All right. This is going to get hard, guys, in the reverse. Woo! Here we go, one more, one more. Wow, okay, stay up. I'm gonna show you number six, and we're taking it to the top. Here's what you got, no weights. Here's what it is, knees bent. You're gonna sit up, bring your hands to the floor. Just push your body up into a strong bridge. All right, lift those hips, squeeze your shoulder blades, drop it down, hands to the floor, lift, lower. All right? Not too bad, right? All right, it's really gonna work the, sh the shoulders, the triceps, the core. All right, guys, you know the drill. Woo! This is your last time all the way through. In this format, three, two, one. Abs in. All right, each time I jump forward, sweat beads, Flying, <laughs> back. So, all right, some of you may be saying, this isn't so bad, Kath. Well, that just goes to show how, how in great shape you are. This shouldn't be impossible, but you should be feeling this and having to push forward. It shouldn't be easy, it shouldn't be impossible, and recover. All right, we're going into our shoulder range rainbows. Ooh, got sweat in my contacts. In three, two, one. Don't forget the breath. Your core should be tight every exercise. Think about every move. Come on. You hear me huffing, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Our heart's a muscle. The most important one. Four, three, two, one. All right, you got your lunge. Woo! Side presses, our press forwards. Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Now, even though I'm telling you this is your last time through like this, you aren't done with these exercises. Unless you turn off the video and walk away. I won't know. But karma, you know what they say. Come on. And out. Robin and Mary, I know you love this format. Come on. Nancy, not so sure. Come on. Woo, one more. Yeah. Woo! All right, 
hand weight to the floor. Rear row jacks. Jack is optional in three, two, one. Pull. So you can easily do this with no weight. Rainbow those hands to the other side. We're going to do that one more time. And last one. Awesome. All right. Walk yourself up. Grab some water. All right, guys. Towel off if you need to. All right, so how this is going to work. We are going to start <laughs> with all six exercises in reverse. All right. Then we will go back to the bottom and we'll go back up, but then we will drop off the first exercise that we started with. So we're gonna do everything in reverse. After we do the last round of forward back uh, swing hops, you'll be done with it. You won't see it again. All right, so then your ending exercise will be your shoulder rainbows. And that'll be X, that'll be side lunge. So we're gonna chip away in reverse. All right, so meet me on the floor. We're going into our sit up hip ups. All right, pick your poison if you need to modify. Three, two, one, sit up, hip up. These are not sloppy. Squeeze your butt cheeks at the top. Relax your shoulders. You got oh, six seconds here. You got one more. Awesome. I probably got about 10 of those. All right, so now we're gonna go into our shuffle and drop. Remember, we're taking it from, oh, these are eight pounds. Let me go to the 10 pounds, see if I can stay with it. 30 seconds, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
So it's going to feel slightly different because the duration of each sequence is going to be different now. We're going to do these reps more, or this exercise more, than we did the first time through. Oh, yeah. Your legs are saying hello. Nice, yeah, so you get two more here. You know, one more. All right, you're going into your uh, rear row jack. Weight down, pull, jack optional. Three, two, one. Now what if your mobility to get to the floor isn't right? You stay here, all right? So you row it in, you put in the other hand, you row in, all right? Again, think out of the box. Don't wait for me to give you a modification. You know your body better than me. Ha, two more. Woo, side lunge, press. All right, here we go. clock in front of me. That's how I know how long 30 seconds is. However, in my eyes or my mind, I think I know what 30 seconds is. It may seem like 45 to you, because it probably is, because I have no concept of time anymore during this whole stay at home. Woo, one more. Ha. All right, you've got your shoulder rotations or rainbows. Wait here. Here we go, same leg, same side, three, two, one. Keep your mind in the moment. Don't get too far ahead of it. So if you hate a certain exercise and you're loathing doing it, your workout here is not going to be much fun. Embrace it. Come on, we're all in this together, guys. We need this health to fight off immunity if we were to get exposed to a virus. Here we go, one more. Shake it out. All right, you've got your swing jacks, or swing overhead chops. All right, holding that weight. We're going in three, two, one. So remember, this is your last time with this exercise. We're crossing it off the list. Making the list shorter. Only five exercises. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Come on. Two more. Oh. You are done with all six. All right, I've got a ton of sweat in my face, in my eyes. Okay, we're going back to the bottom, starting with our hip flips, hip lifts. <laughs> Sit up, hip lifts, all right? All right, we're going up now, guys. Remember, we've crossed off number one. Here we go. Sit up, hip, drop, hip lift, here we go. Remember the modification I gave you? You can just do bridges, bridge marches. Fingertips face forward. This is a really great exercise. It's working so many great muscle groups here. You got one more. Bring your body up, you're going into your overhead. Shuffle and drop, grab an inhale. Here we go, three, two, one. Anytime that you're feeling like you can't keep up, maybe just march in place. Do some jacks, some modified jacks. Maybe a plank, do something. Something is always better.
better than nothing. If your body's not used to a format like this, it's gonna take you a while to build yourself up. We got one more after this. Nice. Okay, weight down. We're going into our row and jack. Jack is optional. Three, two, one. Try the elbow. Squeeze. Heads up right. Take the jack out. If it's not right for you. I know I keep repeating myself, but I don't want you to be a rock star if your body's telling you otherwise. Last one. Ha. Ah. Side lunge. In my book, you already are. Okay. Woo! Side lunge press. Three, two, one. Pulling only, right? Can you sight yet? Maybe you've said something else. Holy asterisk, 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 asterisk. Maybe you're saying, gosh, Kath, could you do this more often? Either way, share your comments, guys. One more each leg. Lunge rainbows. Oh. Starting on the right side. Here we go. I don't know about to you, but this one feels like a nice recovery, yeah? It can't all feel high and winded. So this will be your last time with this exercise, yeah. Let's do two more. And one. Wow, let's go into some shoulder rolls. Let's take it forward. All right, sayonara, lunge rainbows. Maybe on the ground. You've got your sit-up, hip lifts. Woo, we're going in three, two, one. Hands right on the floor. Your own body weight, in my opinion, there ain't nothing better. Halfway. I think we've all seen what kind of workout we can get with very little equipment. One more. Woo! Roll it out. All right, we're going into our shuffle and drop. All right, the sequencing's getting lower. Here we go. One exercise at a time. Going down the pyramid in reverse. Halfway point. Two more. One. Two. Way in the middle. Woo! Row jack. Three, two, one. I put my weight down very methodically, very thoughtfully. All right, so not crazy. Fast. Pull. There's a lot here working besides your legs, your larger muscle groups, your core and your uh, back 
delts are working strong. Good, one more each side. Oh, oh. Side lunge press. Last time doing this. Woo, looking at my heart rate's pretty high. Here we go. Get that oxygen in those muscles. Keep the head up. All right, each time you were to look down, that would prohibit oxygen coming into those muscle groups, your lungs expanding. Not to mention, you could get dizzy by looking down and up each time. Come on. Laura, I hope you're doing this in the snow. Come on, one more each way. Oh, good news. You're done with it. Before we go down, let's take a quick towel off drink. We are almost there. Okay, so you're done with the side lunges. We're going back to one, another round of our hip. We have three exercises, guys. Here we go. Sit up, hip up. Think about those abs, your inner thighs, quads, squeeze your hamstrings, glutes. Tabletop. Think of this as a strong table. Your gaze remains up a little bit towards the ceiling, or maybe you're gonna look straight ahead, or maybe where your ceiling tiles and wall me. Find a focal point. I'm gonna keep tennis ball into that chin. Last two. Last one. Pass and roll your wrist. Come up standing. Pick up your weight. Shuffle and drops. Then you're going into your row jacks for the last time. Here we go. Almost done, right? With this, two more. Oh, one more. Ah, all right. Weight down. Row and jack. In. Three, two, one. Oh. Come on, you guys. Your core works overdrive in squats. You're working more muscles in a squat than you are in just about any exercise. Come on. More muscles, more calories. Win, win. One more. Each way. Oh, how are you feeling? Last time with that. All right, take it down. Hip, sit up, hip lifts. Ah, grab some inhales. Woo! Got five seconds here in three, two, one. Don't forget, squeeze your shoulder blades, relax your shoulders. So we don't want you scrunching your neck here. Keep those ears pinned away from your shoulders. Don't scrunch. Some of you may not even realize that you're scrunching. If when you're done with this, you have some really bad neck pain, it could be that you were shrugging. One more. Woo! Up and out, and you're going into your shuffle and drop for your last time. Then we're gonna end with the hip drops, hip sit-ups. Then we're gonna add on one last exercise that you'll have an option to do or not. All right, here we go. It's called a bonus move. 
Now, the bonus move is the move I was gonna have you do instead of the sit-up hip drop. So, you can stay with the sit-up hip drop or you can try to come with me. It's only one round. I like adding little finishers. Yeah. Woo! Let's do two more. Ooh. Uh, yes, it's official. You have reached it. Okay, so here's what you got. Hip drop sit up. All right, so you'll do it for about a minute. Otherwise, you'll come with me. One weight, reverse sit up burpee. Weight over your head. You're gonna power forward with the weight. Jump back, grab the weight. Slowly sit back. Feet on the floor, drop it, thrust it, drop it, power up, crust it. Yes, I know you're looking at me going, can't, I can't do that. Then you stay with the first exercise or just sit up chops with that weight, right? You determine. However, if you don't try something, you don't know if you can do it. All right, here we go. Pick your poison. Either way, you're on the floor. Three, two, one. Whoops! My feet are sliding. So I'm using the power in my core and in my upper body to propel my body forward. Go through this in a step. So that means you take your time. Each, each component is in its own. So this is one. All right, but you add power. Two, three, four. Come on. Slowly take it back. We're going to do one more for snicks and giggles. Hello. Woo! I look like a hot mess, right? All right, grab some water. Woo! See where we're at. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. So we're going to go into one little leg burner. All right, so it's just going to be kind of similar. Well, actually, we know what we're gonna do with just the lunges, all right? So I was gonna do a sumo drop, we're gonna do just the lunges. It's gonna be Tabata style. 20 seconds with a 10 second isometric hold. So grab one weight, and then we're gonna finish with some core. So this workout's gonna take good about an hour, 10 minutes, all right? So it's gonna be a little, a little uh, longer. All right, so here we go. All right, let me get to my Tabata timer. That's not what I wanted. Come on here. That's not what I wanted. Because I'm so sweaty that it's not letting me get to what I want to get to. Okay, here we go. Come on now. All right, so here's what we got. So you're gonna bring the weight in your right hand. You're gonna be lunging 20 seconds down and up. When we get to the 10 second mark, you're gonna hold at the bottom. All right, then you're gonna go back to those, to, we're gonna go into a lunge, lift, squeezing your glute. You're gonna go back to a lunge, hold. You're gonna repeat that. So you're not gonna have any recovery time. You're gonna work through your recovery time and give me those 10 second ISO holds. Four times right, four times left, abs. All right, All right here we go. Shoulders back, weight in your right side, lunging leg left side. Three, two, one down and up. Oh shoot, keep going guys, keep going. Oh, stop, 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 stop. All right, I knew this was gonna happen. Something happened to my time frame here. Hold on, yikes. Sorry, this is real time, right? Yeah, I know. All right, this is gonna be better. All right, get into your lunge position. 
Sorry. This is what you get when you work out with me. All right, here we go. Shoulders back, abs in, 20 seconds, let's go. Abs in, shoulders back. Now, if you have a heavy weight and you wanna work a little harder, grab a heavier weight. I was thinking I should have probably grabbed a kettlebell here, but that's okay. Keep going here. Three, two, one, iso hold, bottom end. Then you're going right into those lunge with a glute lift behind you, squeezing your butt cheek. Hold it. No recovery unless you absolutely need it. Here we go. Lunge, lift. So you're lifting through your back glute, hinging off the front leg. Squeeze. Do not hyperextend, and you're not bending your heel here. All right? You're not kicking. You're squeezing. Five, four, three, two, one. One, iso hold. Then you're going right back to your lunge, up and down. Three, two, one, lunge down and up. You can do this, guys. I'm already feeling my glute, a little bit of the quad. The one thing I'm not feeling is my knee. If you're feeling your knee, something needs to be modified. Three, Two, one, and hold. Ho! Fire in the hole. Three, two, one, lunge, squeeze. So you're sitting back slightly off that front leg. Hinge back, lift, body strong and tall. Push off, push off. Knee tracks over that ankle shoelace. Three, two, fire the hole. Last time, 10 seconds. Come on. Wow. Four, three, two, one. Oh. 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 Holy moly. Sit back. Yeah. Oh my lord. Woo! Oh, now. Good news, bad news. Good news, one other side. Bad news, that leg was side was stabilizing. This is gonna be pretty intense. Okay, let's get ready. Switching sides, same thing, other side. All right, shoulders back. All right, let's go into lunges. 20 seconds here, come on. You switch sides now, right? Did I switch sides? No, here, I switch sides. <laughs> it's like, wait a second, something's wrong here. Isometric holds coming in three, two, one. At the bottom end, you hold. Head up, shoulders back. All right, sometimes you have to shift your weight a little backwards, all right? So we don't want to be pitched forward. We want that work coming in that back leg. Here we go, lunge and lift. Squeeze, working through the low back, butt, hamstring, shoulders back. Isometric in three seconds. Hold it. Bottom end. Abs in, shoulders back. Go to a happy place. All right, lunging here. Down and up. Are you ready? Here we go. Lunge left. Oh, actually, we're supposed to hold. I'm sorry. Hold. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Three, two, one. Now lunge left. Oh. Are you feeling this yet? Isometric in about four seconds. Hold. Oh. Uncle. Nice to 
to teach with my kids in the class when I would scream at uncle, they go, what does that mean, mom? Push it out. I give up. <laughs> Push it. Woo! All right, sit over. Palms to the other leg. Here we go. Come up, shake it up. All right, meet me on the floor. All right, so you're going to need one weight here. All right, where are we at time wise here? Okay, so one weight. Oh my god, my butt is killing me. All right, so you're going to have one weight, okay? You're just going to bring your legs up to the sky. Push your low back in. You're gonna take your weight. You're gonna angle it. Reach to the left ankle, come down. Reach to the right ankle, all right? Alternating sides in three, two, one. Reach. So each time you come up, you're angling to the outside of your heel. Right to left, alternating. Come on. Don't move the legs, just the angle of your weight. Four more like this. Four, three, two, one. Now you're just gonna reach, reach, reach. Now, if you have neck issues, just come to a crunch here and hold this, all right? Here we go, come on. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lay back. Nice work. All right, so you're gonna come into a um, four count sit up. Oh, I had to think there for a second. All right, so what you're gonna do, have the weight in front of you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're not reaching up with that weight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Articulate, slow, roll down. One, two, three, four. Good work. Come on. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Four, one two, three, four, one more like this, all the way, one, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, extend it, come on, get rid of the weights if you need to, keep those feet on the floor, last four, and final. All right, so we're just going to do a bicycle leg with a rainbow on each side of the bent leg. So here's what it looks like. Rainbow, rainbow, head up. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Drop the weight, bring your hands behind your head. Just hold it, lift those legs, and hold. Scissor out and in, go. Shoulders off, let's go. One, two, three, four, let's go. Five. Six, seven, eight, again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hug. Ha. Ah. Nice work, you guys. Woo! Thanks.
extend your legs nice and long. Arms out to the side. Take your right leg, extend it straight up. Reach it all the way over. Take your gaze to the sky. Easy peasy breathing. Nice job. Now bend that leg, come to your side, pull that leg back, quad stretch. Oh my word, yes. Excellent, extend the leg long, lay back onto your back, arms out, opposite leg straight up, reach it straight over. Take your gaze to the opposite side. If that bothers you, just keep it center. Excellent. Bring that leg on top. Come to your side here. Pull that leg straight back. Excellent. And release. Come to a seated position. Bring those hands right underneath. Hug your elbows. Roll your forehead down towards your knees. Hang here. Beautiful. Grab an inhale. Bring one leg in front, one leg behind. Ground your hips. Grab an inhale, you're gonna walk yourself forward first, okay? So here, let me slide back so you can see me a little bit better. Walk yourself forward, hold it. Try to ground those legs into the floor. Now take your hands a big step towards the leg that's behind you, hold it. You're gonna feel a big strong pull Walk back to center, and now walk over that front knee. Sink your body down and hold. Keep sinking, keep walking the arms forward so you get a bigger stretch. Keep the hips grounded. Walk yourself back up, easy peasy. Rotate over that hip. Bring that arm all the way up and over. And if you can, even lift into this. So now you're gonna get a great big stretch through that pelvis. Awesome, and slowly bring it down. Switch your legs. Easy peasy, get your positioning, ground your hips, feel the, the hip flexors, everything, you're gonna walk forward. Oh, but in between those legs, now you're gonna notice you may not have that much flexibility. This is my bad side. Stay down. Nice, now take a walk. Oh yeah, this is a tight spot for me. Back to center, in between. Now back over that front leg. Really walk those hands, sink down, top chin, round forehead, and then inchworm those hands even further away, staying low. Breathe. Pay attention to the muscles that you feel stretching. Grab an inhale, walk your hands up, pull yourself over that back shoulder. Now lift the hips if you can, and stretch, oh yes. So right here in the front of the hip flexor, right into the deep into the hip, your waist, your rotational, and then that arm comes over, you got a great stretch in your shoulder. Wow, this feels really good. And come back to center, bring the flats of your feet together, round it forward.
Beautiful. Cross the legs Indian style. Sit up tall. Push your hip and knees down into the floor. Become some easy, freezy breathing. We're just going to stretch through the upper body now. Just going to go into some hand reaches. Up and over. Push off. Good. You're going to do two more. Let's do one each side here. Beautiful. Bring the arms out. Rotational stretch here. All right. Seated. You're going to feel that waistline stretching a little bit more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Interlace your hands. Press forward. Slightly pitch your body forward. And then look down with that head drop. And then lean and let your body come down deeper. Bring the body up. Reach. Palms to the sky. Pull the shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Slightly lift the chin. Elevate up. Breathe. Release your fingertips. Pull it back. Keep your chin slightly elevated. Think of pushing those elbows back towards each other and pull. And grab an inhale. Bring those arms all the way up. Grab one elbow. Pull it slightly. All right, so we did use triceps in that bridging up position. Beautiful. Ground your hands to your knees. Take your ear to your shoulder. Take the opposite arm out. And then slowly push and resist away as you bring that arm down. Deeper stretch in your neck. Come to center. Hand onto the opposite. Down. Arm out. Resist. Push your hand into away from your body. As you feel that release in your neck, slow and easy. Come up to center, look down, look up. One more, look down, look up. Bring your feet forward, walk into a forward fold or a scrunched up position, tucked position, not scrunched, tucked. Hike your hips. Oh yeah, now push back through your hips. So you're here, now push back. So really think of that tailbone coming sky high. Slowly bring your body up. You've got a couple of shoulder rolls for four, for three, for two, for one. Big shoulder rolls back for four, for three, for two, for one. Take it out. Let's go into a big ginormous inhale up. Give me your heart center. Holy how hump day is officially over workout style. All right, you guys, have a great day. Let me know how you did in your comments. See you soon. Bye.